Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. Up to now, we have learned about the UX state management pattern we have learned, right? So, we have learned in the previous video about the modules. So, how to divide the different states, uh, the same state in the different, different modules we have learned. Now, we will see, we will try to see what is the problem that will arise that if we divide like this different different modules if we arise so what are the problems we got and how we can solve that problem we will try to see in this video before continuing to this video as usual what i will be saying if you are coming first time to here please do support me by subscribing to my channel now coming to this video so if you try to see here in the main.js so this is the store okay so we have added the modules here counter module and the to do's module if you go top and if you see this is the implementation of the to-do's module and this is the implementation of the counter module now here if you try to see here we are having action b as the getter as the getter uh, sorry as an action action b is an as an action now if you if we assume that if i have another action with the name same action b in another module as we already discussed in the previous videos that the modules we what are declared in the store it will give it will the all the modules will be combined into a all the modules will be combined together we have discussed right so now if i write here context and here if i try to print console.log console.log okay so firing from to do's module to do's module action b okay if you write this one now what will happen so here we are having uh, action b as an action and here in the counter module also we are having the action b and if you try to see here in the create store we are combining to, to uh, we are combining these two counter and the to do's thing so let's try to see what will happen so for example if you go to the counter here in the counter we are calling the action b on increment in the map actions so which action b it will take whether it will take in the counter module or the action b whether it will take in the to do's module so which action so here we didn't mention anywhere that Please, please take this action B from the to do's or from the counter. We have not, we haven't mentioned anywhere. Now, here we are calling the on increment. On increment means this action method we are calling. Let's try to see which one it will execute. If I go here and if I try to execute, so here it is saying that context is different. Okay, fine. We can remove this one. So the project setup Vue.js 3 will be set up in a such a way that if you are not using anything, if you are not using unused arguments, it will throw an error. So now here I will go. Okay, I will try to see the output here. So, to top one is a counter thing. If I click here, see firing from the to do's module action B. So, that means action B from the to do's module also was fired. And now calling success from the action B. This is from the counter module. This one is also fired. So, that means what is happening here in the main.js. So, both this action B and this action B. Both are firing. Okay. So, okay, fine. So, it is not throwing any error. It is firing both the action B. But our requirement is not the, not this one. So we need to specifically mention that please don't execute this action B which is in the to do's module. Please execute the action B which is in the counter module. Okay. So we need to somehow tell to the browser or tell to the component that please execute the action B like that. Okay. And also in order to avoid these all name space name name aliases thing. So for example, if the project is very bigger, so we don't know whether this action B has been uh, introduced or not so it has been a, a recognized or not we don't know so how we can rectify this one so now what we can do is so here you will be having you can namespace the modules okay so what is the namespace so you can write here name spaced okay namespace is true so if you if you make this namespace as true so what will happen is immediately all will throw an error for you so here if i try to refresh so it is refreshing and here you will get an error what is the error it is saying unknown getter to do's list unknown getter to do's list unknown getter to do's so but we are having the getters in the to do's module so these are all the to do's we are having but it is saying that unknown getter unknown getter so why it is telling that it is an unknown getter because we have kept it as namespace true so that means we need to somehow give the namespace to this one so the namespace for this one is nothing but the with which name we have declared in the modules so this is the to do to do so now we need to go to the to do's list and wherever we are calling this what i can say this getters right we need to give the namespace so in which module we are calling in the to do's slash 
done to do's list like this we need to mention okay slash and you will be having a clear cut clear cut uh, differentiation for this one so here if you go here so nothing is there in the map state so we are already calling this one to do's thing if you go to the counter here action b we are saying so you need to go to the counter slash the counter name where we are getting so that that is for you are getting from the module this is the this is the name what we are using and here nothing is there okay fine and go to the app dot view so wherever we are having so here action so we need to add counter here and in the same scenario we need to implement counter okay here is also the counter oh no sorry this is the to do's why right? because so to do's list right so we need to mention it as to do's so this is how we need to mention the namespace before every action getters and the actions and the mutations also so this is how we can namespace the all the getter methods and mutation methods and also the action methods now if we try to see the output here if we try to refresh this one now it's not a problem i can click here so now it is executing only the particular action b and this one is also getting executed if i click here these are also getting executed okay so this is how we can namespace the getter methods and the action methods using the namespace concept and also here what we can do is in the to do list instead of mention each time to do's like this okay you can remove this one okay instead of mention each time like this the first argument itself will take the namespace so to do's comma and we can write like this so that if you keep like this so these all the things will be taken from the to do's namespace so now if i try to refresh this one so no problem okay so no 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 problem so no no not a problem and you can execute this one so in the same scenario not only for the getters you can also mention it for the actions you can also mention it for the actions you can remove this one and you can also mention it for the actions and also for the mutations not a problem this is also another way of representation this is the namespace more namespace concept in the ux store i hope you understood about the namespace concept namespacing concept in the ux and also if you try to see here you can be able to see this namespace namespace is true and how we can mention the namespace is true the thing we can we will be able to see here okay so here you will be able to see that namespace first argument will be the namespace and the second argument will be the action methods or the whatever the methods you want so here also map getters also you can use and also for the state also if you want you can use okay not a problem so this is about the namespacing concept in the vuex i hope you understood all the about the vuex concepts so these are the most most of all all the concepts in the vuex so these are the main concepts in the vuex state management so hope you understood about this all vuex concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you